Welcome into the BSN Nuggets weekly breakdown presented by Frosted Leaf. Frosted Leaf, Denver's most innovative dispensary, has the hottest strains, no lines, no wait, and a self-paced direct shopping experience that allows a fast yet comfortable transaction without the awkwardness of a waiting room. I'm Ali Monroy, and with me today is our BSN Nuggets beat writer, Harrison Wind. The Nuggets won three of their four games during their homestand last week. The last two were blowouts. They beat the Chicago Bulls by 30 points and the Cavs by 22. Harrison, what's something you took away from these two games? Two important wins, and even though they, though they were only over the Cavs and Bulls, it was good to see Denver bounce back from that blowout loss to Golden State. The thing about the Nuggets now, and the, probably the biggest takeaway from this game, is Denver's almost back to full health. They got Gary Harris back. They got Will Barton back. Now they've got that original starting five back and their full rotation healthy for really the first time since the second game of the season when Will Barton went out. So it will take some time, but these were definitely two good momentum building wins over teams like the Cavs and the Bulls. Wins Denver really had to have. Well, like you mentioned, they do have Will Barton and Gary Harris back. But when do you think they'll get off the bench and get back onto the starting lineup? Yeah, Michael Malone said today at practice that those two guys are still on minutes limits still on about an 18 to 20 minute restriction. So until those restrictions get pushed to the mid twenties, maybe to 25 or 26 minutes a game, that's what it's going to take for those guys to get back into the starting lineup right now. Michael Malone doesn't want to play Gary Harris with the starters and then have to rest them on the bench and have that hamstring that's been bothering him get tight and whatnot. He wants to play him at the middle of the first quarter into the middle of the second quarter, kind of a continuous stretch so he can stay loose. So when those guys see those minute restrictions go into the 20s, maybe 25 minutes a night, that's when we're going to finally see that starting lineup again. Well, the NBA trade deadline is just a couple weeks away. Harrison, what do you think Denver's mentality is going to be when that time comes? A lot of people like to label teams as buyers or sellers. I don't think the Nuggets are either. I think they're going to stand pretty much pat with their roster. Maybe make a minor move here or there. Look to add a shooter, a guy who's like 6'6", 6'7", on the wing who can keep the defense honest from three and defend his position. Those guys are so valuable in the playoffs that it's a good idea for Denver to stock up on those guys if they're available. But I'm looking at Isaiah Thomas as Nuggets' big trade deadline acquisition. He could return sometime next month, maybe later on into the season, but he's going to bring a whole new dynamic to this team. And I don't think anybody really knows what to expect, to be honest. So I'm looking at his return as really the big addition for this team down the stretch. And finally, the Nuggets take on the Utah Jazz on Wednesday. What are you expecting to see from that game? It's a tough road game in Utah, a really hard place to play. The good thing is the Nuggets are 1-0 against the Jazz this season. They've already beat them, but Utah is really hot right now. They've won eight out of their last 10. Denver puts their unbeaten division record on the line. They're the only team in the league right now who's undefeated in division. So uh, this is a big game. This is the team Denver could see down the road in the playoffs. If Denver can move the 2-0 and against them at this point in the season, they would at worst clinch the season series tiebreaker with the Jazz, which could really pay dividends when you're looking at tiebreaking scenarios later on in playoff seating later down the line. Well, be sure to subscribe to all of our coverage on bsndenver.com. For Harrison Wind, I'm Ali Monroy, BSN Denver. Come check out Frosted Leaf's three Denver locations and download their app on both Apple or Android. You can also follow them on Snapchat or Instagram at Frosted Leaf Brand.